round number one, and it is still anybody's fight. Whoever wins will contend for a spot in the FLC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Will it be the hottest rising star in mixed martial arts? 23-year-old local boy, Scotty the Fighting Fermanek. All right, Scotty! Will rival Diego Lightning Baptiste have something to say about that? Fighting Furmanek clan watching Cage side. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you're all over him. You're all over him. Legendary Taekwondo master Joe Furmanek must be looking down from the heavens right now. Very proud of his son. Okay, oh, take it easy. This is good. It's doing good. That's it. Great. And we come to the end of what is a very entertaining round number one. That's it. Settle down. Settle down. Scotty's got it in the bag. Oh, yeah. The man is a master strategist. Okay, when you look at that bloodbath, you see strategy at work. Sammy, yes. it's like chess, okay? But instead of using rooks and pawns, they're strategically employing different combative disciplines in order to win the match. Hey, this nerd is with me. <laughs> also, I have a thing for incredibly fit half naked men. <laughs> That's why she's with me. Hello! Yeah. Okay, seriously, honestly, all I see are brutes up there. Okay, I will have you know that that brute like Toby and I, is a major advocate of the Sick Kids Hospital Foundation. Yeah. Yes, and volunteer enough hours, they might even give you VIP tickets to your favorite sporting um, event. I am in it for the children. <laughs> you are a saint. Okay, do you want to sit up there? There's plenty of seats oh, way in the back. Oh, you want to sleep like... outside tonight? Yeah. So good. You can. Oh, wow. oh, check this out. Check this out. Is this Simon Kendall talking to Shane Dent? Who's Simon Kendall? Simon Kendall, he runs the, the Global Fighting Network. It's his new league, the GFN. Probably here to check out the competition. Oh, yeah? From what I hear, Dent can't stand the guy. And the fighters get their final instructions from their corners. Don't slow, don't try to finish. I want you there for the long haul. Take him down, round them pound. You got this guy. And they are on their feet, ready to do battle in front of this capacity crowd. Stick to the game plan. He's gonna do it. I know it. Big wave. Hit the end. And there's the bell. Baptiste and Permanent connect. Permanent with a right cross, Baptiste counters. Shake it up, shake it up. Permanent looks shaken. Baptiste hooks to the body. Another and another. Permanent creating some space, but he looks shaky. Come on, Scotty, get out of ground. Sounds none too happy about it. Scotty. Both men throwing punches. Hit <laughs> by Baptiste, stalking his opponent. Just beat Scotty. Come on, Scotty. Inside, take it down. And Baptiste with the takedown. Scotty, come on, on two. He's got Permanent in a choke. Come on, get on. What's going on? Is I don't know. I don't know. What did you do to shoot him? Baptiste trying to establish the position right here, trying to secure the choke. Will he get it? And Baptiste defeats Permanent. That did not just happen. It's over. Scotty. Scotty. It's fine. It's fine. He's just knocked out. He's not breathing! Get in there, Doctor. somebody get in there. Will you get in there? Let's get the medic. Stay with me, buddy. Come on, Scotty. Scotty, wake up. Oh, God. He's crashing. Signs as well as I do, Oz. It's not good. Scotty Formanek is unbreakable. No, it's more than that. I got something before he went down. I, I got what did that. you get? Nothing. I mean, just, you know, just had this feeling that something wasn't right. Did you get that feeling? You're damn right I got that feeling. This was Scotty's, man. He had this fight in the bag. Let's just get out of here, okay, babe? All right. Come on. Okay. Yeah. I'll see you guys. All right. Yeah, one more. One more. One more. Wanna go? Yeah. Let's go. I should get going in my work. Let's have beers later. All right, buddy. Bye. I still can't believe you didn't make it, man. 
He was 23 years old. This guy was one of the greats, man. Hey. Not you two. What? No, that's all anyone is talking about. Is Scotty the fighting fighter? The fighting foreman, Michelle. It's a huge deal, okay? This guy comes from like a long line of fighting legends. His grandfather was an Olympic wrestler. His dad was a Taekwondo god. And his younger brother, Ian, he's young, but he's amazing. See? And his mom is the manager of the whole dynasty. I just don't understand what it is with dudes and beating the crap out of each other. It's tradition. Warrior versus warrior. They're gladiators. Sounds like you're all plugged into the Scotty Foreman Act. I was you? there. Really? I was there. Yes. Good. It'll be an asset. The Minister of Heritage has taken a special interest in this incident with all the doping scandals lately. You're not taking this accident lightly. Actually, I don't think it was an accident. What do you mean? Well, I read him before he went down. He looked towards his corner and his family, and he thought, what'd you do? Who was in his corner? His uh, mother, brother, trainer, even the league owner. I mean, he could have been thinking about any one of them. Uh, according to the preliminary talk screen, Scotty had some sort of steroid in the system. It hasn't been isolated yet. And GHB. GHB. Why would someone take goop before a fight? Goop? Uh, the formal name is gamma hydroxybutyric acid, also known as goop or um, GHB. So why is it surprising that he had it in the system? It would be insane for a fighter to take GHB before a fight. But what does it do exactly? It acts on the central nervous system as well as the brain affecting several neurotransmitters. Yeah, it slows breathing, uh, motor skills, and blood circulation. It also leaves you sort of off balance and tilted. Which is in line with how he was acting when I read him. So maybe he upped his dosage, OD'd, end of story. Or he was drugged. It's not the end of the story. Well, Scotty Formanac is our assignment, and if doping killed him, it's up to us to find out. And if your hunch is right, we might have a murder on our hands. Keep me updated. Hmm. Okay, so what else do we know? Uh, well, the drug could be injected, snorted, or ingested. And according to the reports, it looks like Scotty had needle marks on his right arm. We should visit Scotty's mother. She's a gatekeeper of all things Formanac. I think she might know about his history with drugs. Alleged history. Catch up? Yep. Cool. You can make a lot of money in the mixed martial arts world. Well, Scotty had a lot of sponsorships. He was set to be a superstar like his dad. I'm sure the mother took a piece of the pie. How do you know so much about this? Oz. Uh, He's kind of a super fan. Oh, but you're not. No, I just keep my ears open. Mm -hmm. I'm a man, you know? I lost my husband two years ago now. I don't know what my family's done to deserve this. Well, nobody deserves this. I don't know why the ref didn't stop Diego. Yeah. He grabbed Scotty's trachea when he went for that guillotine. It's completely illegal. Maybe Scotty just didn't see it coming. He trained for six hours a day for three months. I refused to believe he wasn't ready. It was Diego, the guy's dirt. Were you aware that Scotty had illegal drugs in his system? Scotty didn't use drugs. Where is this coming from? Why is she asking this? Well, your son had uh, needle marks in his arms. Would you know anything about that, Ian? I don't know. What about his trainer? Carter O'Brien. He's been with the Formanac clan since forever. He'd never do anything to hurt Scotty. You train with Carter, too? What do you think about him? Like my mom said, Carter's the best. Sorry, why are you asking these kind of questions? We're just trying to figure out what happened in that ring. Octagon. Okay. Did Scotty and Diego have a history outside of the octagon? No. They're fighters. Shane made sure they kept their distance. Shane Dent? Mm-hmm. Is there any personal issues in your son's life that we should know about? No. He was good. Best shape of his career. After Diego, he was going to take the belt. And how was your relationship with your son, Miss Formanek? But it's not your money. How do you think he got here? How do you think he got all this and all this money? Because of your family. How dare you? How could you say that to me? I'm your mother. I see what you're trying to do. You don't understand me. You don't understand my family. There's no bad blood between us. I loved my son, and he loved me. If you um, think of anything else, please give me a call. Scotty was a good boy. He's the victim here. And if you try to smear his reputation by saying he took drugs, Sergeant, I will sue you. You, your department, the whole government. We'll be in touch, Miss Formanak. I read Margot Scotty was upset with her something about spending money that wasn't hers. What, she was stealing money? Well, she could have been. She's well, pretty mad. That is one dysfunctional family. Have you heard of a functional one? True. I'll have Dev go over their financials. Also, Ian wasn't telling us everything. He saw Carter and Jack Scotty. Why would he lie? His mother's got Scotty on a pedestal. Maybe he's trying to protect her from the truth. So Carter could be the one that Scotty meant when he said, what did you do? 
Yeah, I guess we're gonna pay him a visit, huh? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, Toby. Uh, listen, I'm sorry to bother you at work, but you... you mentioned there might be more to Scotty's death. Look, you know, I can't talk about an investigation, Oz. I know you can't, and I'm sure you guys are all over this, but just in case... You should know that Diego Baptista has a reputation as a dirty fighter. Oh, yeah? Like how? Just all kinds of borderline illegal stuff. Uh, fish hooking, work in the small joints, eye-gouging, the man's an animal. Ian said he thought Diego grabbed Scotty's trachea. Well, actually, there was a rumor in a fight in Brazil in 2010 that he put ether on his wristbands, knocked the other fighter out cold. It's good to know. Hey, anything else I can do, you let me know, okay? Thanks, Oz. He was the best pound for pound fighter we had. He was gonna go all the way. Yeah, he will be missed by me, by his family, his fans, and this sport. He was one of the great ones. Thank you, Mr. O'Brien. I'll let you get back to work. Carter O'Brien? That's me. IIB. Do you have a minute? Yeah. Uh, can I help you? Is this where you train all of your fighters? Yeah, it's the best gym in the country. Well, how long had you been training, Scotty? Well, me and his old man Joe, we uh, we came up together as fighters. You know, and I had a little accident, didn't see a kick, ruptured my eardrum. Balance was never the same since. That was uh, about ten years ago. So I guess it's eight years I've been training Scotty. Now, in those eight years, did you ever witness Scotty taking any kind of illegal drug? No way. No, Scotty's as clean as they come. Good kid, real good kid. You see, we've got witnesses who say they saw you injecting Scotty with drugs. I don't know what it is that you are driving at, but I've never given Scotty or any of my fighters illegal drugs. Well, you injected him with something. Yeah, sure, I give him cortisone shots. That's standard stuff. Oh, we're gonna need to take your ringside equipment, okay? Any syringes, towels, water bottles, everything. Look, I own this gym. I have a reputation to uphold. Now, a tragedy occurred yesterday, but I swear to you, I had nothing to do with it. Well, that's it. good to know, but we're still going to need to take everything into evidence. Now, you want to take it, take it. You're going to find nothing. Could Diego have had access to Scotty's locker room or his kit before the fight? No, Diego would not be allowed in here. You sure about that? I swear. Look, I don't know what it is you guys are trying to do to the Fulminic name, to that legacy, but it ain't right. Are we done here? Yeah, for now. Good. Diego is definitely involved. I saw him handing Carter a bunch of money. So Diego bribes Carter to tamper with the quarter zone shots and ensures a win. Dev, I need an address for Diego Baptiste. Diego, IIB, hey. I'd like to ask you a few questions about Scotty Formanac. Hey. Like what? Hey, 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 what the hell's going on here? Hey. Officer, please. Sergeant. Look, I'm just trying to help my client make his flight to Montreal, okay? Well, your client is coming with us. If you want to help him, you can get him a lawyer. Diego, get out of the car. Look, I don't know what kind of octagon or playpen you think this is, but if you think trying to intimidate me is a good idea, you are very, very wrong. Diego, chill. Look, if all the lawyers make this thing go away, all right? Guess I'm missing my flight, hmm? Yeah. I've had thousands of guys in those chokeholds for way longer than I discarded Feminac. So then what happened? Just was in his day is all. Well, it was your day. I won, didn't I? Well, we understand you're not the kind of guy who likes to lose. You know someone who does? How far are you willing to go to make sure you win? Don't answer that. No, I'll answer. I do anything. So what are his weak spots? Would you bribe Carter O'Brien for inside information? Don't answer that. What about drugs? Do you take anything? Sure. Lots. Tylenol, Advil, aspirin. Did you ever give Scotty anything to ensure that you'd win? All right, that's enough. Did you drug Scotty Formanac? Well, I think that we're done here. The guy got what he deserved. Well, thank you for your cooperation, Mr. Baptiste. I'm glad I could help. Diego certainly fits the profile. I think the money that Diego gave Carter was for intel on Scotty's fight strategy. Where does that leave Carter? Carter was not as loyal as the Formanic family thinks. It makes you wonder what else you'd do for the right price. Hey, Carter and Scotty's equipment got back from the lab. Now, there were traces of cortisone in one of the syringes, but no GHB on anything. Oh, no kidding. So we still don't know how the drugs got into his system. Where are we on mom's manager? Uh, her financials are a mess. She's broke? Worse, she's in the red. She's got two mortgages and her credit's completely maxed up. Was she stealing money from Scotty? 
Well, it's hard to say. So maybe Scotty got sick of her spending and decided to cut her off? So she killed him? Scotty's her main source of income. Not a smart move to kill the goose that laid the golden egg. Well, actually, it might be. I was looking into insurance claims, and it seems that a couple people are looking to make money off Scotty's death. Who? Well, for one, our league owner, Shane Dent, he had an insurance policy on the specific fight itself, protecting himself against lawsuits in case of deaths. Nothing unusual there. He's a businessman. He'd be an idiot not to have a policy. Who else? Scott himself, he had his own policy, but the fighter's body's everything to him. Safe to assume he didn't kill himself with money. But who was listed as the beneficiary in case of death? I'm getting there. I'm just trying to build up some anticipation. Not only did Margot have her own policy on Scotty, but she was also in line to make the purse off the fight and all of his money from his own policy. Well, here's where it gets interesting. Dent was named the beneficiary on all of her insurance claims. Why? I don't know, I'm still looking into it, but he's looking to make a nice little bonus because of it. Think uh, Margo and Dent had something going on? <sighs> Could be. We should talk to Dent. Well, Scotty's funeral's tomorrow. I'm sure he'll be there to pay his respects. See you there. If Margo is sleeping with Dent, I mean, that definitely splits her allegiances. All right, we do not know for sure that they are involved. Why else would she name him the, the beneficiary for the insurance claims? Dent didn't become who he is without knowing how to manipulate people. He was a friend of her husband's. Maybe he pulled the loyalty card and he somehow got his name on the insurance papers. So you're saying that Margo is the victim in all of this? I'm saying I don't know. But you seem to have made up your mind. Yeah, I mean, she mismanages Scotty's money. She gives the man who's in control of his safety financial motivation to kill him. And she's probably having an affair with the guy. If that is all true, then yes, she did not do right by Scotty as his manager. But I, I do think as a mother, you're responsible for your children's safety. I just don't think that Margot chose to have an affair with uh, the man that killed her son. Well, hopefully we'll find out at the funeral. Yo! Hey, brother, you better make it, too. Yeah? You can totally go for a beer right now. Yeah, yeah. have this. Uh, thank you. How you feeling? You know, I'm still bothered by this whole Scott Furman thing. I can't believe he's gone. He's a great athlete. He's more than just a fighter, though. A lot of people really looked up to him, you know? You guys got any leads yet, or...? We're getting there, you know? We're gonna get to the bottom of it. Well, I hope you do it soon. I mean, for your sake, too. The Internet's just crawling with all these Twitter conspiracies, people saying Scotty was doping. I don't believe it for a second. Oh, man, you're preaching to the choir. You know, you're supposed to go to sick kids tomorrow? Those kids are going to be devastated. Well, someone's got to tell them. Apparently, his brother's going in his place. Well, I mean, they say Ian's going to be a great fighter one day, just like Scotty. Yeah. He's a good kid. You know, I've been volunteering at that foundation for three years. I should go down there tomorrow. You know what I mean? Maybe help Ian out, see how these kids are doing, help explain all this stuff. Yes, that's a great idea. I could do that. Make them laugh. Sure, I'm up, sure. See? This is why I keep coming in here. Good advice. You're a good listener. Cheers. Cheers. Where's your beer? It's my last beer. Don't do oh, you keep it. You sure? Yeah. It's gonna be okay. That's Simon Kendall, right? Mm-hmm. He's the owner of GFN. That's Dent's competition. Dent doesn't seem very happy to see him. No, he doesn't, does he? Hey. Guess he's just here to pay his respects. Yeah. Hey, sorry for your loss. Thank you for coming. I'm really sorry. If Dent couldn't have you, I guess nobody else could. Just gotta read off Kendall. Hey. Oh, my God. What the hell is he doing here? How dare you show your face at this funeral? I was invited. Yeah, well, not by you weren't. Okay. Okay, not now. Not here. Get him out of here. Peace. Get him out of here. It's not worth it. Okay, this is not the place. You got some balls coming here. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't want to miss the show. Scotty was going to leave Dent's league. And Dent knew? Yeah. With the biggest star in MMA jumping ship, that would be dead high and dry. 
Well, that would certainly be motive. But what would you read? Well, Kendall thought that if Dan couldn't have Scotty, nobody would. So maybe we just found our killer. So we think Scotty was leaving Dent to join Kendall's new GFN. And when Scotty's fans followed, it would cause a major shift in the power struggle. It would have made Dent furious. Furious enough to kill Scotty? Uh, you lose the biggest star in MMA, that could be the end of your league. Okay, well, I want to talk to Kendall before we bring Dent in, okay? Find out what exactly was negotiated, who knew what, every little detail. I'll text you his address. Okay, and Margot, she's definitely still a suspect. I want to know why Dent was listed as her beneficiary. I'm working on it. I didn't think Scotty told anyone about our arrangement. So then it's true, Scotty was leaving to join your league. No, his contract with Dent was up for renegotiation. If he won the fight against Diego, he was coming over to me. And if he didn't win? <sighs> Look, the deal was that the undefeated Scotty Formanick was joining my league. Well, that's a lot of pressure. You know, this business is all about pressure. Stakes, drama, the story. The story I wanted was that Scotty the Fighting Formanick was joining Kendall's GFN. He was going to be my big fish. Yeah, you get the big fish, the little fish follow. Yeah, that was the plan. So Dent had a lot to lose. He was going to lose everything. And losing the fighter at tomorrow? Well, no one wants to be part of that headline. Now, did Dent know about the deal? It was supposed to be a closely guarded secret, but MMA, they, um, <laughs> they have a lot of secrets. So who was it that went over the details of the contract? Was that you and Margot? Scotty's mom? No, Scotty and I, we worked out the particulars on our own. Was Margot upset about that? Again, I don't think she knew. She's holding you back. You know it. You know it. Did you pressure Scotty to leave his mother? No, not at all. So then why did you leave her out of it? Dent has her under his spell. I promise you, he doesn't care about Scotty or the mom. It's all about Dent. And you're nothing like that? No. I'm trying to build a relationship with my fighters. Dent doesn't roll like that. Never has, never will. Thank you for your time. Dev. Hey, I found out why Dent is Margot's beneficiary on all the insurance policies. The guy's basically been like a loan shark to her. He's been lending money for years with an insane interest rate. She owes him over half a million dollars. That's why she's so loyal to him. Kendall just confirmed that Scotty was moving over to his league. If Scotty left his mom in the dust, she'd have no way of paying Dent back. So he kills him. Kendall's league is no longer a threat. And the insurance money is just a cherry on top. Sure sounds like motive to me. Yeah, bring him in. What kind of mother puts her debt before her children? The kind of mother who's in over her head and being exploited by someone with power. I don't, I don't get how you can defend her choices. Okay, I grew up in foster homes. I know that parents can make worse mistakes in trusting someone they shouldn't. Well, you know, Margot talks about family and loyalty and protecting the family name. It's just, it's all so duplicitous. You're being a bit harsh, don't you think? I don't understand how, as a mother, you can encourage your child to participate in a sport that already put one of them in a grave. Look, people have their reasons, whatever they are. How can a mother do that? Kind of makes you think twice about starting a family, doesn't it? Seriously? I mean, you and Adam, you, you, guys, you want to have kids, right? Just know what you're doing? I don't. I don't know. It's good to know that you're decisive. You want decisive? I will give you decisive. I can tell you that if we do have children, I would never put them in the ring. Act again. You know, it's a very long walk back to the IAP, right? <laughs> all right, all right. No lawyer? Uh, no, I have nothing to hide, Sergeant. Are you aware that Scotty was leaving you to join Kendall's league? No, never heard that one. You sure? Because we know he told you before the fight. Oh, yeah? Wow. After all I did for him, huh? I'm taking advantage of him financially. I paid him fine. That's not what we hear. Hey, my business agreements are all above board. All of them. If you think loan sharking is legal. Look, if you're referring to the money I lent Margot, she, uh, she knew the conditions. Yeah, Michelle, we have another saint. Yeah, losing Scotty, that would have been a huge loss for you. I guess we'll never know, right? It's a done deal. No, 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 no. None of my have anything to do with it. You were afraid if Scotty left, the rest of your fighters would follow. So you drugged him and you sent him in there to lose? No. The dosage was too high. Look, you think I killed my own fighter, huh? Lady, you are way off. Hey, Sergeant, to you, did you forget again? I, uh, I want my lawyer now. Mm. Something to hide, Mr. Dent? There's no question he has motive, but I didn't see anything that would suggest he drugged Scotty. Hey, 
The ME came in, and the GHB that led to Scotty's death was ingested, not injected. Right, but everything in Carter's kit was clean. Yeah, it says here that he had such a significant amount of GHB in his system that there's no way he would have made it through the first round. Okay, so uh, he ingested it in between rounds. The drugs start kicking in, he looks into the corner and thinks, what did you do? So which one of our suspects is connected to the drug? Dev, can you check out Dent and Margo's phone records, see if there's any suspicious calls or text messages? Yeah, I went through all that stuff already. I didn't find anything, but I can keep digging. Okay. Yes! Again? Well, thanks for letting me visit, guys. I know Scotty would want to be here. He wouldn't miss us for the world. Can you sign this for me? Yeah, man, of thanks. course. Cool. You got to sign one for me, though. Okay. Is that a deal? Yeah, it's great. Can you, you sign this one? Okay. Hey, that one, that one's special. Hey. Hey. I just want to say thanks for uh, coming out and being here for the kids. I mean, clearly it means a lot to them. They're probably disappointed that it's me and not my brother, no, but no, I wouldn't say that. Yeah. Oh, I, I know who you are. Yeah. I'm, I'm Oz. Oh. I've uh, actually been volunteering here for a few years, almost as long as I've been a fan of the fighting formats. Yeah, my dad and Scotty were two of the greats. Hey, don't sell yourself short. Okay, you haven't won the championship yet, but I think you've got a bright future ahead of you, sir. Can I sign you as my PR agent, then? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, your dad didn't start winning championships until he was in his 30s, right? Sure. I mean, look how much he achieved in his career. I don't think I have what he had. Actually, your fighting style reminds me a lot of him. You know, your roundhouse kick, how you do... I can't really do it because I got, like, a hip thing. Yeah. Like, you know, where you go downwards on the kick? I know what you're talking about, man. Yeah. yeah, he taught me, you know, higher risk, higher reward. Exactly. Well, he'd be proud of you. Well, that's... That's why I gotta take Diego down. Diego? What are you gonna have him taken care of? You bet I am. You know, Dent's about to announce a fight, so don't tweet that. Hold on, are you seriously talking about fighting Diego Baptiste? Yeah. The guy is a maniac, and he's like two weight classes above you. I'll gain 20 pounds, I got two months. Ian, I, I, I mean, no disrespect, okay? But, uh, you're a great fighter, but are you sure you're ready for that? I have to take him down for my mom, my dad, and for Scotty. You know, it's nice to meet you, though, man. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Thanks, man. You coming? Oh, yeah, let's go man. do let's another go. game. Let's do this. Let's do this, guys. Let's go, let's go. Hey, good luck. Thanks. Dropped you here. <sighs> okay, now we can go. I mean, he can't do it. Like, seriously. How can Ian Foreman I think he can defeat Diego Baptiste in a fight? Okay, they're trying to capitalize on what happened, make more money. No, Ian would not do that. Okay, I met the man. Okay, did you really think that these guys fought for the love of the game? You know what? Call me naive, but yes, I did. Naive. That's cute. Eat your noodles. What are you watching? We were just watching the end of the fight again. I I don't know this weren't the way you guys do, but it all just felt kind of wrong. Yeah, tell me about it. Can I see this for a sec? Let me see this. Yeah. What was that? What? With the mouth guard. Oz, can you email this to me? Yeah, sure. I gotta go, all right? Make sure you turn off the stove. That's on you. You're right See there. You You're standing right by the stove. Where are you going? Thank you for, uh, you know. Thank you for lunch. So I've stitched all the footage I can find from YouTube, the arena surveillance cameras, and some TSN footage. And now I just have to put Oz's footage into the mix. And voila, here we go. All right, slow down here. Oh, pause, press pause. You see that? Um... You notice anything? Out of the ordinary? What's the color of Scott's mouth guard? Uh, white? This is the only one Carter gave us. Black. There's two mouth guards. So Carter didn't give us all of Scotty's equipment. The drugs were in the white one. He lied to us? Now we know the murder weapon. That's it. Hands up, hands up. Search every locker, whoa, whoa, whoa. every gym bag. I want this place stripped. Hey, what the hell's going on here? We have a search warrant. For what? I gave you everything you asked me for. Gotta use two mouth guards during the fight. You gave us one. You still think I'd hurt my boy? We believe the missing mouth guard carried GHB. You're the one who gave it to him between the rounds. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just grabbed what was in the kit. Well, who else had access to it? I don't know. People were coming going all night. I want to see the lockers. This way. Hey, Ian. Didn't expect to see you here. Yeah. I'm training, trying to keep him unoccupied. I heard about this fight between you and Diego. Yeah, just something I gotta do. You know, you sure you wanna do this? You will, for your brother, for your brother, for this family. For this family. Mother seems pretty focused. Is she the one making you fight? Not at all, like I said, just something I gotta do. 
Someone's definitely selling drugs here. I got strict rules against this kind of thing. Who has Logger 32? I'm gonna check my files. Hey, stop! It's our guy, Michelle. Go for it. Look, we're gonna be fingerprinting everything in here, Sammy. So if you cooperate now, maybe we can help you out with the charges. Would you sell the GHB to? Look. My clients are a very specific breed. I don't sell the kids, I don't sell weed or coke or anything hardcore. So he's the same, he would sell drugs. That's what I'm saying. These fighters are in pain, man, a lot of pain. Their fight back-to-back -back fights or injuries not even fully healed. I just help them do their jobs, get over the pain. Right, so who did you help by selling GHB to? I don't know. You're facing an accessory to murder, Sammy, you know that, right? Do you really want to spend the rest of your life in jail? It's all through anonymous texts. I get a message with a choice of substance and a locker number, and I secure the product, drop it off in the locker where the cash is waiting. It's totally anonymous. I don't know who buys my stuff and what they do with it. Where's your phone? I lost it. I'm gonna guess it's inside your pocket. There you go. This guy's actually smarter than you think. He uh, wiped his phone clean, but I'm gonna access all his phone company's records. He's got every request coded. Can't decode it? Sorry, of, of course you can. Well, it looks like there were three texts sent looking to buy some goop. Uh, no, wait. One of them's from an internet portal. Do you have an address? It's coming from a website that sends anonymous SMS texts from the handle 1994LB. I'll check the IP address. It's coming from 301 Carrington Place Drive, which is paid for by Fighting Formanek Management Inc. Margo Formanek. I really didn't think she had it in her. I wish I could say the same. Let's go. Roger McCluskey, thought I answered all your questions. We have a search warrant for your house. I don't understand. Are you the only one that lives here? Of course. So what, what is it? What is this? What, what do you expect to find? Someone from this house bought the drugs that factored in your son's death. Are you insane? What? You think I drugged my own boy? You know you have the mouth guard, Margo. Where is it? I told you. I don't know what you're talking about. We're gonna find that mouth guard and then we're gonna uncover what's really going on with your family in this league. Okay. Okay. I did it. I killed my son. You knew Scotty was leaving you. You were sinking financially. Without him, you'd have nothing. Yeah, you're right. Did you buy the drugs from Sammy? Yeah, it was in the locker room before the fight, and then, um, I put the drugs in Scotty's mouth guard. So you sent your son into that cage to die? No. No? No, I... No, I wasn't supposed to die. He was... I love my boys. He was just supposed to lose. Did you or did you not give the drugs to your son? Yeah, yeah, I switched the mouth guards during the fight. Margo, you just said you put the drugs in the mouth guard in the locker room. That's what I meant, in the locker room. I don't believe you. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you that I killed my son. And what do you want? Is it for the money? He's gonna leave, he's gonna leave. <laughs> what are you not telling us? I'm telling you everything. I couldn't have him break apart the family, so I, um... You still have it? Of course I'm thinking. I, I didn't just know what to do. Give it to me. Give it to me. I'll fix this. I'll fix this. You're covering for Ian, aren't you? No. No, I did it. It's me. Can I talk to you? Yeah. She didn't do it. We have a confession. She's taken the fall for Ian. 
Are you sure? Yeah, I think Ian found out that Scotty was switching leagues and leaving Margo, and he didn't want his mother to be upset. So he killed him? Not intentionally. I think he just wanted him to lose. If Scotty didn't win, the contract with Kendall would have been null and void. Exactly, and Scotty wouldn't leave the FLC, and the mother would be happy. Right now, we have a mother who just confessed to killing her son. Her fingerprints are all over the mouth guard. I mean, unless we get a confession from Ian, she's our prime suspect. So we have to make Ian confess. Uh, is that the press conference right now? They're about to announce a revenge fight against Diego. Why would Ian confess when he knows his mother will take the fall? Because it's the right thing to do. No, he does what he's told. Okay, well, if we don't make him come clean, then the wrong person is going to go to jail. Let's go. Ian, we need to have a word with you. Not exactly a good time. Well, it's not going to get any better. Your mother's at her headquarters. She just confessed to killing her brother. She did what? We know she didn't do it. We know she's taking the fall for you, Ian. No. I didn't do it. I know you just wanted him to lose. I don't know. You want your mother to spend the rest of her life in prison because of something that you did? No, there's still time to do the right thing. I have a press conference to go to, excuse me. Hey, Oz. Hey, you guys came for the big announcement, right? Michelle, I didn't know you were a fan. Not. I want to thank you all for coming. Now, this fight is about legacy. It's about defending a name. And after the tragedy of Scotty Fermanick's death, the fighting Fermanicks have a chance to rise from the ashes with the youngest member of their dynasty. I present to you the man himself, a legend in the making, Ian Fermanick. Yeah. 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 Right. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Mr. Dent. I, uh, Brother Scotty was a, was a great man and a great fighter. And I, um, and, uh, Ian. You okay, buddy? <clears throat> I have something I need to say. My, my brother Scotty didn't die because of a doping scandal. He died because of an accident. He died because of me. What do you got? Checkmate. Checkmate? Are you serious? I just thought you had a play. You already beat me. Does anybody else see? Did you see this? There was like six moves. Have you played before? Yeah. What? It's sick. It's sick. You could have told me that before, Antonio. Thanks a lot. You want to go again? Yeah. It's a good thing I didn't have any money on the table for Connor. Hey, <laughs> yeah, laugh it up. Hey, you got a sec? Yeah. This isn't over, by the way. I want a rematch. See, this kid just hustled me a chess. Kimmy, it's ridiculous. It's like, what, five years old? Yeah, I got Bobby Fisher. Good job, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd try to help some of these kids make sense of what happened, you know? You're a good man. Oh, no, I know. I'm being serious. Like, you coming here and making these kids laugh, that's pretty awesome. I know, I'm incredible. And humble. You're not so bad yourself. Mm. You put the right guy away, okay? I don't want you to stress about it. Yeah, this guy was just trying to protect his family, you know? Yeah, it's just a, it's a tragedy. You know, it's a mess. Yeah, what can you do? Luckily for you, your best friend is pretty good at cheering people up. Lucky guy. Hey, Oz, want me to beat you again? I'll beat you again. <coughs> wow, these kids have been jawing at me. Punks, Two on one foosball, you think yeah. that's fair? All right, I'll do it. Let's one, do it. One hand type. Can I hang out? Bring it up. Yeah, absolutely. Come on in. Beating a little kid at something, huh? Yep. Yeah. Hey, do you want to uh, want to see a magic trick? Hey. Let's do a magic trick. Okay, sorry. I want you to pick a card. Take a peek. Don't show me. I'm going to guess what it is. Is it nine of hearts? No. Mm, 
Jack of diamonds. No. Eight of clubs. You're bad at this. I'm bad at this. What? You're not very good. I'm not good at this. Oh, come yeah. on. Are you kidding me? You guys, these guys are tough, Oz. I told you. You guys want to see me pull my finger off? Yes. Watch this. Yeah.